I think a really kind of uh, unorthodox matchup, and I say that because this is the first ever meeting between these two squads, at least as far as I can tell in the history of these two programs. How about Delta State going into Mars Hill? Some uh, Gulf South and Southern Athletic Conference action. Delta State obviously coming off a playoff berth. 10-2 and two last year. Mars Hill, 8-2 and two last year. Two squads have seen a lot of success. Like I said, the first ever meeting between these two teams. Big question mark for the Statesman. How the hell do you replicate the productivity of Patrick Shegog? One of the best players in the state last year. Uh, probably the winningest quarterback in Delta State history. I don't fact check me on that. I'm just guessing. The dude won a lot of big time football games. Made a lot of big time plays for them. How do you make that up? The senior Cole Kirk, he's expected to start, but the tra- they got a transfer from Southern Miss in Jake Lange. He can certainly compete for that spot. Again, though, that senior Cole Kirk has been with the program for quite some time now. Uh, you got to imagine he's very comfortable with that system, has been around it for a long time, knows those guys, has great chemistry. Expect him to be under center for the Statesman. Things can obviously change uh, one snap at a time. Now, for the Statesman, they got a senior wide receiver on the outside as well, and Jalen May, he's on the Reese's Senior Bowl watch list. Also have an offensive lineman and a running back on the D2 Football Elite 100. So this offense has talent across the board, and I think for a quarterback, not that uh, Kirk or Lange are stepping into this spot or are green necessarily. They're both, I think, technically seniors. But for a quarterback coming in and assuming this quote-unquote starting role and the reins to an offense to have some talented pieces around you and some talented pieces in front protecting you, that's big time for Delta State. Feels very good for them. Mars Hill picked fourth in the sack preseason poll. Feels low for them. But they didn't get two first-place votes, right? So the sack preseason poll, if I'm remembering correctly, Lenore Ryan picked first. Makes a lot of sense coming off last year. They got a lot of pieces coming back. Wingate, second. Makes a lot of sense. Limestone, third. And then Mars Hill, fourth. But Limestone didn't have any first-place votes. Mars Hill gets two first-place votes. Not typically how you see that turn out, how you see that pan out. Mars Hill, though, I think a lot of question marks going into this year. The best thing about Week 0 is those things get answered rather quickly. I'm really excited about this one. I think this Delta State offense picks up right where they left off with a couple new faces leading the charge, and uh, they're going to roll heading into Gulf South Conference play. But, boom! I feel like I haven't taken a breath the entire time I've been recording this, about like 25 minutes in. That's how excited I am for D2 football. I'm sorry for a little bit of the hiatus. Glad to be back tonight. Thank you all for tuning in very much. Please let me know what you want to see from us this season. I'm always open to your guys' ideas and uh, what other kind of coverage you want when it comes to D2 football. I am uh, very appreciative to continue, continue excuse me, doing this show. For D1 Rejects, I've been Kobe Manzo.